It's a grueling and grinding job. Sir Mark Lowcock has spent nearly 40 years getting critical help to those suffering through a variety of crises, civil wars, famine, earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Along the way, he says he confronted an enormous, horrifying catalogue of human misery and human brutality toward other human beings. How does he find the strength to keep on going? I've been blessed with a sunny gene, he says. Unless you are able to see a brighter future, you don't hang around for decades in this work. That positive outlook has supported him through his role as the world's most senior humanitarian official, the relief chief of the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, a position he. His job was to encourage aid groups like the Red Cross and UN agencies like the World Food Programme and UNICEF to work together, and raise funds for them to assist those in need has now published a memoir reflecting on his time at the U.N. titled Relief Chief, a manifesto for saving lives in dire times, and proposing solutions to how to support people faster and more effectively. NPR talks to Lowcock, now a fellow at the Center for Global Development, a Washington, D.C based think tank, about worsening global crises, the problem with donor aid, and what inspires him to keep doing this work. This interview has been edited for length and clarity. Why is the head of Anaka called the relief chief? The formal title of the job is Under Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs and Emergency Relief Coordinator and that is obviously an impossibly long sentence to tell anybody. How would you describe your job to family and friends? Let's say a young niece said, Uncle Mark, what do you do for work? What would you tell her? Every morning you wake up and you look on your phone to see what new problem there is. There could be an earthquake somewhere. A typhoon. A famine leading people to lose their income and their ability to put food on their table. And you work out whether these people need help and then it's your job to get them the help. What kinds of global emergencies did you deal with while you were at the U.N.?